Let's go through drawing your flowchart using an online case tool called Draw.io. So we already created our pseudocode. We're going to use that to come up with our flowchart. And we're going to use Draw.io. So let's search for Draw.io. Okay, it seems like they changed their um, web address. That's okay. And here it opens. And we could save it to our device would be our computer. You could save it to your, your email. I'm already logged into my Gmail. So it's going to, it could save it to my drive there as well. So you could choose this one or your computer. OneDrive, of course, if you have a Microsoft account or if you have a Dropbox account. Okay, I'm going to choose my computer. Create a new diagram. Uh, let's see. You see how it has untitled diagram here? Only that you're changing. You're leaving the dot draw IO. Okay. Um, what are we creating here? Let's, I'm going to choose as example. You will be your ITSB. I want a flow chart, but... Okay, I'm going to want a blank document. Create... Okay, just to save it now. There we go. Nice. There it is. This grid is where I am going to actually create it. These are my different symbols. Flowchart. I want flowchart. I don't want general. Flowchart. Nice. Here we are. Um, I'm going to X this just so we have more space and move around my pseudocode here so I can see it. Good. We need to see from start algorithm. Okay. Start algorithm and we have a for loop. All right, so start. We need to start. Um, where's my oval? Oval. Nice. I double clicked for start. Oops. Nice. Can move you up. Mm, I could copy and paste you one time and put stop. Nice. Move you on the side for when I'm ready. Okay. Um, what's next? I need this four count here. One to ten. So, in order to do this, I need to have a, I need to have a processing. So, let me get my square. Double click. Count equals to. Oops. Count equal one. Right or set count equal one. This is how you do a flowchart. Just make that smaller. Put that in place. Um, set count equal to one. Then I'm going to decision because I have to check if what the count is. Is count? Hold on. I need to put a common C here. Is count? Mm. Is count equal to ten uh, or more than more than ten? Question mark. Okay. Because we want to do this code 10 times. So we want, to, want it to go from 1, go through the code. And then it's going to change to 2. So it's going to be 2 when it comes back and go through. So we want to go through 10 times. So we need to look for when it's 11. All right, let's see. Um, this is a decision. So that means we have a yes or a no. So I'm going to go with no here. Is that arrow? No. Ah, there's the arrow. Arrow show up. Okay, good. Nice. And the arrow shows up on this side. Great. Okay, let me just get um general. I need a text. Ah, text is here. 
This one is my new. Oh my yes. I'm gonna put yes on this side. And I'm gonna put new on the other side. Okay, just because I have more room on the side. Alright, so no, what am I gonna do here? If it's new, I want to do all this code. If it's yes, I want to skip this code. So I need an output here. Uh, sorry, an input for mark. I'm going to read mark. Let's go back to flowcharts. Input. Read mark. All right, make that smaller. This line has to come down here. Hmm. How are we getting this line to move down? Ah, there we go. Got it. Nice. Just drag and drop. Eventually it will sort itself out. Good. So read mark was the next one. Um, then I want to read complete. So I can copy and paste this. Change that. Okay, make that bigger. Okay, make a line going down. Oh, do I have room? Oops. Okay, there we go. Move that up. All right, so it needs some space. Oh, no, 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 delete that line. Delete that, I just press delete on the keyboard instead. Just make these lines and you can connect them at the um, little X's. When you connect them at the X's, look at that. They stay together. All right. Okay. Let's see. Now we have an if. Okay. So let me go down a little bit. An if is another diamond. So. Uh, is mark more than equal to 50? Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it more than equal to 50? Yes, I'm going to come down. No, I'm going to go across. So I'm going to put a yes here. Uh, what's going to happen? I need to set. This is a, a processing. So I need a set pass status equal to pass. Can make this a little bigger. Right. That's good. Actually, I can copy you and put you here. Right. Like a bit feel on this side. Right. So if Mark is more than 50, yes, it's a pass. So, yes, move you up, okay, and no, it's a fail. So I need that text box, you know what, I could just copy and paste these yes and no's from here. Yes, and no. Okay. All right. What's next? So if mark is less than 50, I've already taken care of that with this new. What's after that? We have to print. We have some outputs. Um, okay. So from going down from here, we just have to output. So let me get another output. Print mark. And I have to print pass status. Right. So print mark and print 
pause status. Now, I need you to come here and then you also to come here. Good, everything is going down. And lastly, I need my stop. Oh no, wait, 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 this is stop four. This is not stop algorithm, okay, I can still bring that down. I have to stop four. Okay, now, to finish up my for loop, I need another processing here. And in this processing, set count equal to count plus one. And arrow here, good. Now from here, we want to go back up. I want to go back up to this point here. Oh no, my lines are in a mess. Ah, there we go. Let's see if I can move this line over to the side. Good. There we go. Or I can come on this side instead. Nice. So we have this line from count going all the way back up here. You know what? No, I want this line coming on this side. Good. Out of the way. And then this yes. Oops, oops. Delete. Again, I need to stop. I could bring this stop up here. There we go. So if the count is more than 10, then I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop my entire process. All right, so this is my flowchart. Let's look at it. Start, set count equal to 1. Is count more than 10? It's not. So I'm going to read. I'm going to complete. Uh, read mark, read complete. I'm going to check, is my mark more than 50? It is not, so it's a fail, print mark, print the status of fail, count equal count plus one. So that's one plus one is equal to two. And then I follow the arrow going back up, which goes down. Is it more than 10? No, it's not. So I read the mark, read the complete. Is the mark more than equal to 50? Yes, it is. So I'm a pass, print the mark, print the pass status. Ooh mistake here. Pass status does not have a, a space. Nice. There we go. Um, and then we count equal count plus one. So that's two plus one is three. Come back up and you go, we keep going until it reaches 11. Then it's going to see, wait, is count more than 10? Yes, it's 11. So yes means I stop. Flowchart is done. All right, now, how do we save? File, save. If you remember, we created it at the beginning. We had a, a, a file name at the beginning as well. So we save that, good. File again, export as PNG. So you're gonna export it as a diagram. Mm, export and put it to my device. It comes, it downloads, and there it is. How lovely. Now this image, let me get rid of some windows here. Right, this image, which shows my entire flow chart, I can now take this image and put into Microsoft Word, or I could copy and paste it into my Microsoft Word document. And that's my flow chart in my programming ITSBA. One more step down.